Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of two-digit multiplication. If it's been a while and you need a quick refresher, this should be helpful. Whether you're in high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, helping with an assignment, or maybe you just learned this recently and need a quick refresher. Really, no matter where you're at, here are a couple of examples to help you out. Let's jump into number one, where we have 48 times 23. Now, the first thing that we need to do, we need to line this up vertically. So we're going to rewrite it up and down. Let's go below the problem here. And we have 48 times 23. So once we have that rewritten vertically, we need to multiply the top number by the ones digit of the bottom number. So the ones digit of the bottom number is the three in 23. So we need to do three times eight and then three times four. We can forget about the two and 23 right now. We're just worried about the ones place. So let's start with three times eight, which is 24. So we'll write our four and then carry the two. Then we take that three and multiply it by the four and 48. So we're moving to the left to the tens place of that top number. So three times four is 12 plus the carried two is 14. So we can write our four and then the carried one, well, there aren't any more places to the left, so we can just bring it straight down and we end up with 144. So we are done with that three in the ones place. I'm going to cross it off and we are done with that carried two. I'm going to cross that off as well. That way we know we're done with that three and the carry two and we can move forward. So our next step, we're gonna multiply the top number by the tens digit of the bottom number. So the two from 23. Now we do need a zero since we are moving over to the tens place and that two has a value of 20. So we need to make sure we write a zero here. Again, because we're moving over to the tens place and that two has a value of 20. Once we have that zero, we can do two times eight and then two times four. Two times eight is 16. So we write our six and then carry our one. Now we can do two times four plus that carried one. Two times four is eight plus the carried one is nine. So we end up with 144 and 960 there. Once we get to this point, we add. So let's add these two numbers together and those are called partial products. They're part of our final product. Now we're ready to add and we're going to start with the ones place. So we have four plus zero, that's four. Then we move to the tens place. We have four plus six, which is 10. So we can write our zero and then carry our one. And then for the hundreds place, we have one plus one plus nine. So one plus one is two, plus nine is 11. So we could put our one here, and then we carry a one over to the thousands place, and it's all by itself, so we can bring it straight down. And we end up with 1,104, and that's our final answer. Now, one more thing I do wanna mention before moving on, and this is going to help us understand what we're doing within this problem. So we started by multiplying the top number by the ones digit of the bottom number. So we did three times 48 there, three times 48. And that equals 144, which we have right here. Then we move over to the tens digit and multiply that by 48. And that tens digit is a two, but it has a value of 20 because it's in the tens place. So we did 20 times 48 as well. And that equals 960, which is right here. And then we add those together to get the final product. Let's move on to number two, where we have 849 times 75. Remember the first thing that we need to do, we need to line this up vertically, so up and down. We have 849 times 75. Let's start with the ones place of that bottom number and multiply it by the top number. So we'll start with five times nine, which is 45. 
let's put our five, carry the four. Then we have five times four. We're moving over to the tens place now in that top number. Five times four is 20, plus four is 24. Carry the two. And then we end with the hundreds place of the top number. So let's take our ones place from the bottom number, that five times the hundreds place of the top number. Five times eight is 40, plus that two is 42. So we'll put our two and then no more places to the left, so we can just bring that four straight down. So we are done with the ones place now. We did five times 849, and we got 4,245. I can put a comma in here. We're done with this five, and then this carried four, and this carried two. So now we're going to move over to the tens place of that bottom number and multiply that by the top number. So we have a seven in the tens place. Now again, we're in the tens place here, so that has a value of 70, so we need our zero. Now we can multiply. We'll start with seven times nine, which is 63. Carry that six. Seven times four is 28, plus six is 34. Put our four, carry the three. And now we have seven times eight, which is 56, plus that three is 59. So we put our nine and then our carried five. We don't have any more places to the left, so we can bring that straight down. Put our comma and now we're ready to add. So to recap, five times 849 is 4,245 and then 70 times 849 is 59,430. At this point, we are ready to add our partial products to get our final product, which is the answer to a multiplication problem. Let's start with the ones place and work our way left. So five plus zero is five, four plus three is seven, two plus four is six, four plus nine is 13. So a three there and then carry the one, and then one plus five is six. Put our comma in, and our final answer is 63,675. So there you have it. There's a quick review of two-digit multiplication. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.